What's up, everybody? John Hoover from the Franchise Drive, and this is the Short Drive, my lightning fast recap from tonight's show. You guys know the drill. I recap the show every night, so if you like these videos, go ahead and hit the like button, or hey, just subscribe. Y'all know what's up. We got college football games. We got games. This thing just got real fun again, didn't it? We opened the show talking about Oklahoma's 49-31 victory over Houston and how, believe it or not, Jalen Hurts' performance catapulted him, catapulted him from fifth in the preseason Heisman betting odds to he's currently the co-favorite with Trevor Lawrence. I mean, one game did that much for him. That's how much Lincoln Riley's coaching means. We also dug into the OU defense, which absolutely hit a few rough patches against UH, but there's no doubt, no doubt whatsoever that Oklahoma's defense is better and on the road to improvement over last year. You can read that column that I wrote today on the OU defense and Kenneth Murray, as well as the column that I wrote yesterday from the game about Jalen Hurts' big night, his historic night, at our website, thefranchiseok.com. Then we talked to Oklahoma State's 52-36 victory at Oregon State in the season opener on Friday night. Big win for the Cowboys, a good win. What I really liked about it was the debut of Spencer Sanders, the quarterback. The next big thing to me uh, for the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Really, he was that good. Also, Chuba Hubbard rushed for 221 yards and three touchdowns and looked like an entirely different running back to me. And hey, speaking of Sanders, how spoiled are we in the great state of Oklahoma? Pro Football Focus ranked Spencer Sanders' debut against Oregon State as the, the highest graded performance by a quarterback in all of college football this weekend. The second was Jalen Hurts from Oklahoma. Unbelievable. I also dug into a couple of low key items from Jalen Hurts' night. He actually knows the offense, apparently, well enough. Lincoln Riley's offense, remember, that was supposed to hold him back. That was supposed to be a learning curve. He knows it well enough that he delivered the football to 10 different receivers. And with that rebuilt offensive line, Jalen faced enough pressure, enough legitimate pressure, uh, coming off the edge, especially the left edge. But he has a, enough experience and enough pocket presence that he didn't allow a sack. He only threw three incompletions the entire night. Very efficient, very productive. And we delivered a brief eulogy of sorts for the University of Tulsa, who went up to East Lansing, Michigan, and lost 28-7 to Michigan State, number 14 in the country. TU's offense struggled a lot against one of the best defenses in college football. We knew they would, but I'll tell you what, I like a lot of what I saw from the Tulsa defense. They're going to give people problems this year. With OU playing its game on Sunday, Colby asked me about my Saturday. What did I do on Saturday? Well, I went to Denton, Texas, watched North Texas take on Abilene Christian in the season opener there. Mason Fine, he's a senior now, member of the Locust Grove kid who set all the passing records in Oklahoma. He's going into his senior season. It has gone fast, but I'll tell you what, from an athletic director, a head coach, a quarterback, a wide receiver, a tight end, and quite a bit more on that roster from the Sooner State, as Colby said. You can change the name from North Texas to South Oklahoma. You can find my game story from that night on Jason Pirtle's big three touchdown night. Big, huge night for him as he switched to tight end. You can find that story at thefranchiseok.com. Later in the week, I'll have a piece for Sporting News at sportingnews.com on Mason Fine. And uh, as well as a really cool video right here on this very YouTube channel, looking at the impact that Mason has had not only on the football team there at North Texas, but on the campus and the community in Denton as well. Pretty cool story. So that's it for tonight's short drive. If you want to listen to the show, it's FM 107.7, the franchise in Oklahoma City, 107.9, the franchise Tulsa, also AM 1270 in Tulsa, streaming live 24-7 at thefranchiseok.com. And take us with you wherever you go on the free franchise app. Also, if you like these videos and you want to see more, go ahead and hit the like button or leave a comment down below. Or hey, if you want videos from OU, OSU, Tulsa, North Texas maybe, and lots more throughout the college football season, all you got to do, subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you guys.